Okay, B14 number four, directions are the same, factor completely. Uh, first step, like always, is to look for greatest common factor. Sometimes you'll have one, sometimes you won't. In this case, there's a three in both of those, right? So I can factor out three. So I do that. Okay, so first, let's go ahead and say, factor out the three, put our parentheses there, um, and then decide what I need inside my parentheses, right? So factoring is the opposite of multiplying. I ask myself three times what would give me three x squared. X squared, three times what gives me the negative three. Has to be negative one. Okay? So, in the last example, number three, I factored out the greatest common factor and I couldn't do anything else with it. That is what's inside the parentheses. But this problem is different. I look at this and I see that it's factors. This one is more of a, of a recognition kind of thing. I should be able to recognize that as one of my special cases of factor. In this chapter, uh, what you looked at is greatest common factor, special case difference of squares, and then that AC method factored into three term quadratic columns. Uh, this is the difference of squares. Okay, it's very important that we can recognize that or, or we're not going to get it right. We're not going to keep factoring. That's the perfect square and that's the perfect square. And there's a minus sign in between, so I've got to recognize that as the difference of two squares, which always factor the product of two linear factors. I take the square root of that guy and put it here and here, and the square root of that one and put it here and here, and one gets a plus, one gets a minus. Okay? Um, remember, we can always check these to see if it's right. I can multiply these two together and then multiply it by three, and I should end up there. Okay? So if you have time on a test, make sure you check all your answers. All right? That's my answer for this one. That is the factor version of that. Step one, factor out the greatest common factor. Step two, what else can you do with it? In this case, difference of two squares, factored like this. Okay? And then I'm done. Alright? Number four, keep working. Remember, you've got to do all your homework in order to pass the course.